Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Courtney. So today I'm back with what is probably going to be a pretty long video. Um, so I have some BTS cards to put away which are right here. I also have like the most twice cards I think I've ever had to put away. So I had so many that I couldn't even like fit it on my twice row. So it like overflowed to like my normal girl group row. So yeah, it's a lot of cards and sorry as always about the traffic outside my apartment. I know it can be kind of loud, but whatever. I live right on a main street, so it is what it is. I also um, asked for a bunch of questions on Instagram, so hopefully I'll be able to get through all of these. I got quite a few, so let's go ahead and jump right in. So I have one thing to put away in this binder, um, and while I do that, I will answer the first question, um, which is the reaction when you realize that you won the magazine and have you, and have you seen people recently get all ready. So I was... I, w I don't want to say I was like super surprised because obviously I like entered it with so many entries. I was like really trying not to get my hopes up about it because I really didn't want to be like disappointed or anything because it's just supposed to be kind of like a free thing that you don't get, you know, like I didn't want to get like disappointed or mad or anything about it. So I was trying to like really lower my expectations for it, but I wasn't necessarily surprised when I won it with how many entries I had from my go. So... That's kind of how I felt. I was super um, happy, obviously, to win it. I do have some things to put away that I did not get out. Um, I don't know where the hell I put them, though. Let me see if I can find it. But I was super happy to win. Um, oh, they're over here. Jesus Christ. Okay, so I have all of my, like, larger inclusions. And I have... In this binder, I think all of this, yes, okay, um, so I don't want to say I was super shocked, but I was really happy, um, I have, I have more things for this binder than I thought, so I have, um, the third muster binder photo, so let me go ahead and put that away. And then to answer the second part of the question, which is like how I felt when people, when I saw people were reselling it, I mean, I'm like not surprised. Like, I knew people were going to be reselling it because, um, like, that's how it always is. Like, I'm really disappointed. It's one thing, so for me, it's one thing if you want to resell it in like a year or two or. You know, like, if something happens and, like, you really need money or anything like that. Like, I understand people have lives and, like, that kind of stuff. I totally understand you wanting to sell something like that for. But the people that literally receive it and then the same day they post it for, like, a bid, like, please get a life. Like, I hate people that do that because it could have gone to someone who, like, actually wanted it and would have, like, treasured it. So it just is, like, gross to me that people do that. But... Anyway, so I have but, um, all of these third fan meeting and third muster um, binder things done. I also did get a full set for Wings Tour, this little like Polaroid situation. Um, so that should hopefully be here soon. But yeah, I mean, it was just, it wasn't shocking, but I was still just like disappointed. Okay, so I finally, I traded this girl for um, Jimin's BBC uh, binder, or not binder, um, BBC battery photo because the go I joined is like a fucking disaster like literally it's been almost a year and I still don't have it so I asked the um, go manager for a refund so hopefully I'll be able to get that but um, I ended up trading um, one of Namjoon's HOH epilogue cards for that so yay but I do also have a few um, Butterfly Dream Cards put away. I have one of Namjoon's. So I have this one from Namjoon. Um, and I'm going to put this on the bottom as well. I think I put these in upside down though. But yeah, that's kind of how I'm feeling. It's a disappointment, but I'm not surprised. I don't know, some people are getting like really worked up about it and like reporting the people on like eBay and like reporting the people to Big Hit. I'm not getting that worked up about it just because like you're not, nothing's going to happen. <laughs> like you're not going to get anything done. So, I don't know, I find in general people are getting, like, really worked up. Like, a, a few of the people I follow are getting, like, really worked up about, like, overpricing and resellers and stuff. And I'm like, y'all need to kind of take a breath. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, if 
getting that mad about it isn't really going to do anything. Um, so I recommend like reassessing <laughs> kind of how you're uh, like how worked up you're allowed you're allowing yourself to get about things like that. But anyway, next question. If you could choose one out of print BTS DVD to bring back, what would you choose? Um, HOH on stage. It's my favorite concert, so that one. Plus, I think a lot of people would buy it because it's like one of my favorite concerts of theirs. Um, so I got one of JK's Butterfly Dream, so now I'm only missing two of his Butterfly Dream photos. So we'll see if I ever get the last one. The last one's really um, expensive, <laughs> so we'll see. Um, I did also get a few... Let me get out a four pocket page. I did also get uh, some more group and unit shots. Um, I think I'm going, I think these are all, yeah, these are all units. Cool. So let me flip these the right direction. Um, but yeah, HOH on stage. I really wish BK would honestly just like reprint all of their DVDs. I don't know why they haven't. like. I think the market is there for it, um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know, I think Big Head honestly should just reprint everything, like all of the merch and all of it, just because they're basically letting resellers make a ton of money on their, you know, creations or whatever, so, and I don't mean creations as in BTS, I mean creations as in like the actual merch and photo cards and stuff, so. Um, just before anyone gets mad about that, but, um, but yeah, I would say HRH on stage. And then, favorite recently acquired photo card? Hmm. I don't know if I really have a favorite one that I've recently acquired. I got a few B, um, album cards, which you'll see in a minute, as well as the, a few of the pre-order photo cards, so I really like those. Um, I think the, all of the photo cards are super nice for um, B, which makes me really happy. I also really like this um, Namjoon and Yoongi Butterfly Dream photo. But there's something that's like really sticking out to me in terms of like a favorite card that I got recently. But okay, I think that's it for this. So Butterfly Dream is coming along really well. For the units and group, I'm missing three, or no, two or three that I still need to buy. One of which is the fucking Jim and JK one, which I'll probably never get because the only time I ever see that one for sale is like $150. And the other one is the Jin and JK one, which I also like never see for sale. So um, that'll be fun. And then for JK, like I said, I just have the one, which God knows if I'll ever get that one. Jim and I still am missing like four, which is so frustrating. But all of the ones I'm missing are like the orange hair ones and they go for like insane prices. So not really holding out hope. And then for June, I think I'm missing two. I think he has eight. No, he might have nine. I can't remember. Whatever. I'm missing a few for June. But yeah, that's where I'm at with that. I like hate <laughs> this. Okay. Um, so next up, I think I'm going to do my like uh, tour and muster binder. I do have a few cards to put away and I have one exciting set to finally finish so I'll be back in one second. Okay so we're gonna start with muster because I think I only have like three or four things to put away. Um, in exciting news I did finally manage to get the last Jungkook card I need for this set which thank you Jesus Christ. It was in an auction and it was kind of a mess. I guess I'll talk more about it when I actually get the card but it was <laughs> it was a uh, kind of dramatic what ended up happening. But anyway, um, I have finally, Jesus Christ, <laughs> completed JK's 22920 second muster. So it's gonna go right here. I guess I need to get a sleeve for it. Whatever, I'll get a sleeve for it later. But finally done with this set, which is super exciting. So now I'm like fully finished with 22920, which feels amazing. But yeah, I have few more things to put away for musters and fan meets. So let me get that stuff out. But next question is any concept slash vibe you'd like to see for BTS's next comeback? I mean, there's nothing like I can think of specifically. Okay, so I got a I got a full set of 
um, JK's undercover mission um, photos, which means I will be selling this three of four. I'll probably sell it on Instagram here shortly. Um, in terms of concept or vibe, I mean, I like the more chill songs. Like, I really liked um, Life Goes On, Spring Day is one of my favorites. Like, I like that kind of vibe, so... I, but they just did that kind of vibe, so I don't think they would do that next. Um, I do like that it was a little bit more laid out, or laid, laid out, laid back, and not as, like, heavy on, like, concept the same way that, um, like, Map of the Soul and the Love Yourself series was. Like, that was a very, concept. those are both very conceptual series, trilogies, whatever you want to call them. Um, so I kind of liked B in that it felt a little bit more laid back and relaxed. So I kind of hope, even if they don't do something in that vein musically, that they still keep that same vibe in terms of like the album production process, if that's making any sense. But that's kind of where I'm at. Um, what is the next thing I have? I have a few, or I have one, I think, group card for this third fan meeting. So let me, I think this is, oh wait, shit, I missed a card in the, I'll have to get out my, um, the, oh wait, never mind. I'm stupid, never mind, don't listen to me. Um, I have one of these, What is what I was trying to say. So I have four out of six, I think these, six out of six. So four of six, I'm just gonna go right here. Cause I have two, I have two, three, four, five. So I'm missing one and six. I like really need to just get a move on with these, but I keep kind of forgetting about them. Um, we'll go ahead and actually put them away in the right, in the right spot though. So I will move four. I just put away. I'll move it over. So we'll do four, five, six, and I'll move two and three. Cool. So then we have one, six, and then whatever. Cool. So that's everything here. I feel like you didn't really answer your question very well, but I always find it difficult to think of like what concept or vibe I want them to do. Someone, people asking that balloon, and I'm kind of useless with it. But anyway, I think. I mean, once I get JK's 17520 card and the few remaining third muster guestbook cards, or not guestbook, but um, player cards, and the two fan meeting cards, I'll be like done with musters and fan meetings, I'm pretty sure. That'll be cool. Just in time for whatever. In the comments, tell me if you guys think it'll be 6th muster or 7th muster will be the one they do this year if they do one at all. Let me know. I don't know what I think. I don't know if they're going to count uh, Bangman Khan as a muster or they're going to say, well, we went from 5th muster, this one should be 6th muster, or whether they're just going to act like 6th mu muster should have been last year and so this was 7th muster. I don't know. I don't know. Answer in the comments. But anyway, let me get out my, the concert um, binder. Okay, so now we have the concert binder out. Next question is, are you mentally prepared for this B go? So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I'm running this gigantic um, B album go. Originally when I posted it, I literally thought I was going to get like maybe 10 or 15 people interested in it. It ended up being like 120 albums, 71 people. <laughs> like, it's a huge ass go. Um, so... I don't know if I'm mentally ready. I mean, I guess we'll find out. I've been trying to like get all of my shit um, ready in terms of like my boxes and my packing supplies. So that way when the stuff arrives, like I can just go um, and pack and ship and not have, like I don't want myself to be a bottleneck in terms of the process. Like it's one thing if like Paysable or whoever takes forever to ship an item, but like I really don't want myself to be an issue in the process, so. Okay, so I got two of JK's um, Wings version 1 cards, so these are the last two I needed for his set. 
So I'm done with the individual members now for wings. I need to like get them move on and finish out the units. Um, but I am now at least done with all of the sets for the members. Speaking of units, I did get one of them. I got six of eight, so I got this one. So I just need one and eight. I need the other um, Jimin Tae unit and any other Hobi um, Yingi unit, and then I'll be done. So just missing two, I just need to freaking do that. But yeah, so I'm not like mentally prepared, but I guess we'll see what happens when it happens. Okay, so I decided like a moron to start collecting these fucking cards. Um, so I got another. Um, uh, Hobi Yungi unit, so I got 10 out of 15. So what I'm gonna do is move over this one. So I have one through five in my bias line um, units, and then I have nine and 10 for Yungi and Hobi, and then I have 12 um, for Tay and Jin. I think I have one more Yungi and Hobi card and then one more Tay and Jin card on the way. I think I'm missing five. Mm, I don't want to say that and be wrong, but I think it's five. But yeah, I'm kind of an idiot and I decided to start collecting these. Um, the last thing I have for this binder, I decided to just go ahead and fucking finish these photo sets because I didn't want to like drag it on any longer. So um, here is the other Yungi. Yungi and JK, so this is three out of six. Um, so that's gonna go right there. And then I have four out of six on the way. Um, last I checked, I think it was in Chicago. So hopefully that should get to me sometime soon. But making pretty good progress here with concerts. With concerts, I'm basically done. Just waiting on a few things to come in and then I need to finish out Wings version one and Wings final for the units. But other than that, I think I'm done. Oh, and the, um, obviously BTS begins for Jimin, and then I maybe want to get the Red Bullet cards for JK and um, June. I don't even hold out hope of getting a BTS Begins card for JK at this point. I saw one recently and it was like $160 or something just for one, so yeah, that's where I'm at. But yeah, let me get out, I think my OT7 binder, or I actually split my OT7 binder, so I'm going to get out the second one first. Okay, so like I said, I did split my OT7 binder, so this is basically everything extraneous that was in my previous binder. So I got the army kit freaking finally, like it took 500 years. Um, so I'm gonna put these cards that I got with it away. I'm also thinking I'm gonna put the magnet in here because I'm not gonna use that. But anyway, here are the cards. So they look like this on the front and on the back, they look like that. So I don't know if that's focused. So we have Jun, Jen, Yungi, Hobi, um, Jimin, Tay, and JK. Yeah, so Big Hit took their sweet ass time sending these. Um, but yeah, they're gonna go, I guess, after. I don't know what the hell I'm doing in this whole section. I guess they'll go back here, because this is like semi chronological, I guess. Oh my god. I don't know what the hell I've been doing for any of this, so... Um, I guess it's gonna go at the end here. Whatever. So let me get out any pockets. And while I'm doing that, I can answer my next question, which is, what is a concept you want to see in 2021, and what group do you wish to perform that concept? <sighs> I don't know, guys. <laughs> like. I'm, this is like the worst question to ask me. I'm like not good at thinking of concepts. Um, I'm kind of excited with Sunmi and um, Chunga's recent concepts. They're kind of bringing back like, I don't want to call it like the sexy concept, but it's kind of the sexy concept, which is something that K-pop hasn't had in a while. So 
kind of excited about that, but I mean, I don't know, to be honest, like, I don't really have anything that I, like, want. I'm tired of all the concepts being the same, like, I feel like boy groups all have really similar concepts, and even girl groups nowadays, I feel like a lot of them are doing, like, girl crush or girl crush adjacent, and I kind of want to see new things, <laughs> so I just, I want there to be more diversity in the concepts, but there's nothing, like, in particular where I'm like, I really want to see this kind of concept. Um... What is BTS's best merch and why is it winter package? I love the packages. Winter package, summer package. Um, memories is also like a favorite of mine. Okay, so here's what it looks like all laid out. Cute. Um, but yeah, I definitely think the packages and the memories are really good. Those are my two favorite, I think, for BTS. Um, yeah, winter package this year. It just got like sent to like K armies and stuff yesterday, so. We finally got to see like the photo cards and everything. Oh my god, they're so cute. I love I love their little um the side with like the little match or whatever. I think that's really adorable. So I'm gonna collect OT7 for it, probably gonna regret it, but hmm, whatever. That's what we're doing. So um next up I think we have my other OT7 binder because I have a few cards that need to go in there, so I'll be back. Maybe one day I'll get tired of having all these freaking binders. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I have a few things I'm going to put away in here. Um, I'm going to start actually in the back because I'm going to do the season's greetings photos and then I'm going to come back and do the B um, photo cards that I have. So I think, I don't know where the hell I put season's greetings. I think it might be here at the back. Yeah. Okay, so next question. Tips for how to capture slash film your entire binder well in a YouTube video. Um, I don't know. I have a camera and a tripod. <laughs> um, I have like a pretty tall tripod. It's like a little bit shorter than me. And then I have like an actual camera. Like I have a Nikon D something 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 um, that I use. You can use your phone though. I definitely have thought about using my phone. I would have used my phone um, to film, but the tripod that I ordered for it like never showed up. So I just used a tripod that I already had, but I have Jin's um, Season's Greetings photo, and then I also have Hobie's Season's Greetings photo. What the hell was I doing here? This isn't even in order. Y'all, I'm on fucking drugs. Oh, I, I didn't remember what I was doing. Okay, so I was going to put Hobie up at the top and then put JK. So I'm gonna put Hobie here. Lucky hate that BTS has seven members because it makes it difficult. Okay. Um I think I want it yeah, right? Behind Tay? Yeah. Okay, so we'll do it like that. So I'm now done with these season's greetings photos. These are actually pretty easy mainly because I ran a go and I got Jim and JK in that go, so Made it pretty simple, and then I did put the um, the Polaroids here because they're too cute to put in my other binder, <laughs> even though they weren't random. Um, but yeah, that's. Oh wait, let me do the B photo cards. Um, yeah, I really, I don't really have too many tips. I just, I have a binder or not a binder. I have a tripod and a camera, and I just set up to where I can see my stuff. <laughs> so I'm, I don't really know if that's very helpful, but that's all I got. Um. Next question is, what is your dream item to own? Um, I don't really know. I want to just complete the sets I'm working on. So some of the sets I'm working on have like really hard cards to find. Like Jungkook's fucking 2014 diary card. Um, so I just, I mainly just want to complete the sets I'm working on. I don't have any like dream cards right now because I feel like I've gotten all my dream cards um but mainly I just want to complete out sets I mean I want to I want to get um Jimin and JK's full BTS begin set so I guess maybe that um okay so I have shit I need to get another eight pocket out that I forgot okay so I'm gonna have to get out another eight pocket but I have um Hobie and Tay for the pre-order benefit, I have Namjoon, Jin, and Jimin for the actual photo card. And then obviously I have a little like couch set which I forgot about and I need to get out um, an ink pocket for that. 
think I'm gonna do the, the pre order benefit first. So we do Namjoon Jin, Yingi, Hobi, Jimin Tae. So, like that. My pulls for that were pretty decent. My pulls for the album so far have been pretty decent. So, I pulled a dupe with Jin, but I've already set up a trade to trade it to um, Hobi. So that should get here eventually. I mean, I'm also running the go, but I am just trying to like finish out like my own personal um, set before I have to worry about the go, just to make it easier on myself. But yeah, um, that's what we have so far. And then let me get on an eight pocket page. I don't think I have any over here. Let me get on an eight pocket page and um, we can put away the couch set. So you might've noticed that I did not set up for the group card to go with these because I'm gonna put the group on this page obviously like I think that'll look a lot better. What order did I do this in? Okay so I did it June Jin like that. <laughs> Someone asked are you ever gonna do a face reveal? No. <laughs> Probably not. Um I don't know I find it hard because like if I'm an adult with a job and I don't want to get in trouble <laughs> with my workplace like I've seen so many people who got like canceled online for like BS and then their employer got like harassed about it so I don't really want that to happen like I don't think I'm gonna get canceled or like do anything deserving of cancellation but like at the same time I don't even want it to be like a possibility so no probably not um Someone just said blue hair JK. Yes. <laughs> yes, indeed, a blue hair JK. I had like a mental breakdown when I saw that. Um, but it's chill. We're cool. Um, I think that's it for this binder. So I guess I'll get out my girl group binder now. But yeah, this I'm excited to be done with B. It shouldn't be too hard, which is nice. But yeah, let me get out my next binder. Okay, so next up we have girl group stuff. God, my Jungle album is finally on the way. It took like literally two weeks, I think, for it to ship. But I should have that shortly and I'll be able to get the remaining four cards, thank God. First thing we have though is Dreamcatcher. So I got a fourth standee. Um, my friend traded this with me, or my friend traded with me for this. For, I don't even remember what the hell we traded for, but um, the other thing I have is I want to actually set up um, Yuhan correctly. So I got out some nine pockets. I don't actually know how many of these I'm going to need. Let me pull up the wish list for her. So. Her wish list is oh, was oh, at the top. I always forget this. Um, there it is. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Five times seven is thirty-five. Three, six, three, seven, thirty-nine. So it's thirty-nine. What is thirty-nine divided by eight? 39 divided by 9. Um, so I need 4.3. So I need 5. Okay, so I'm going to be short a 9 pocket. So I need to get one more. So let me get out one more 9 pocket and then we'll continue. Okay, so I got the last 9 pocket I needed. I'm going to actually take all these cards out and reorganize. And while I do that, I'll answer the question, which the, the last question I saw was, what are some of your like collection YouTuber pet peeves? The biggest one, and one of the only ones that will make me actively like click off of your video, <laughs> is people that put members in a weird order. So like some people like rank the members almost and do like weird, well they'll do like their bias, their next favorite member, their third favorite member, etc, etc. Instead of just doing like fan chan or age order, which are like 
to me the only two acceptable um, orders to do things in so I find that to be really weird and annoying um, but yeah that's pretty much it so let me now sort these cards to their respective era I think I have a few tree of language cards and then we have dystopia and then this is this goes with this okay 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 so i have my little um template here so i can figure out how many cards okay so we have um nightmare prequel and then we have escape the era so i have one escape the era card there's four of these, so one, two, three, four. And then we have Alone in the City, which I have two. And the other two. And then End of Nightmare, I have one. And there's four, five cards for that, so one, two, three, four, five. And then Raid of Dream, I think I have two. That one and this one. And so I'm missing two. And I'm also missing the my music case card, which I do want. And then we get the tree of language where I think I have almost all of them. Literally, I don't understand why Dreamcatcher doesn't reprint their fucking albums. Like it's ridiculous. <laughs> Um, okay, so I have five of these, which one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm missing two, which are on the way. So one, two. And then we have um, whatever the hell. Lose myself, which I think I'm still missing a few that are on their way. So I have four, and I'm still missing one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we get to this current album, of which I have two normal cards. So then we have. Oh, and I need to get more Night Pockets because I totally forgot about the most recent album. LOL. Um, but then we have the most recent album. And I don't have enough space. I'm just going to put these freaking. I have the With Drama um, fan sign card. And then my music taste pre-order card. I'm just gonna put them right there until I get a new um, nine pocket out. Um, because I definitely did not get enough nine pockets out because this error was not on that template I was looking at. <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like I didn't do a very good job of answering the question about the collection YouTuber pet peeves. It's mainly just people that do like really bizarre orders for the members. Um, and I got two in Hypen photo cards, so I got um, two Dusk, Dusk, Dawn? Mm, I don't know. I got two of them for um, some new years, so I just ended up buying the third one. It was like really annoying trying to trade for it, so I just bought it on Neokyo, so that should come shortly and then I'll be done. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else that bothers me. I mean, people, like when they have... I don't know. I can't really think of too many things on top of my head other than the, the order one. Um, next up we have From Is, so I did finally get the remaining cards I need. I think I'm now almost done with this. Um, still just missing, I think, that one mini card, which I traded someone for. I need to figure out who I traded that for, or traded with for that. But other than that, I'm done with From Is 9, which is awesome. Hopefully they have a comeback soon. Um, and then we have G-Friend. Someone asked, can you show the first BTS photo card you ever pulled? I wish you had asked this when I, or I wish I had read this when I still had um, my OT7 binder out. Um, it was the Love Yourself Her version L, Yoongi, and Taeyong photo card. So I can't remember which one I pulled first, um, but it was one of those two. So... For your G friend, I do have quite a few cards, like always. So I think I have one Sunny Summer card. I have 
time for us. Which I guess is going to go right here. And then I have the other time for us clear card. So I think I'm actually finished with time for us now. And then um, fever season. And then I have a labyrinth card. And then more labyrinth cards. Finally picking up the pace with these fucking cards. Um, I think I do four, so I'm going to do one, two, three, do them here. Yeah, because I think they do four for each version. And I did finally just end up buying the rest of them. I was supposed to trade with some girl, and she just kind of like has ghosted me, so whatever. I ended up just buying the rest of them. What photo card was the hardest to get, in your opinion? Definitely Jimin's um, Star Hollow for the Japanese um, fake club dive. Um, am I stupid? I think I'm stupid, guys. Wow, okay. So we have that, I think it's part two. Um, part three. Part three. And then we have the Instagram one from part one. Okay, wow. I don't know how I ended up with two of these. I guess I'll be buying or selling that. So I think I'm done now with GWSN. I'm pretty sure there were only two photo cards for the keys, unless I'm totally making that up. I'll have to double check that there wasn't another one, but I think there were only two. But yes, I'm finally done with them. Hopefully they have a comeback soon as well. Um, I feel like all of my groups are about to have comebacks soon, which, uh, not looking forward to that, but it is what it is. Um, lastly, I have this Weaver's Benefit thingy from, um, Blue Hour. Mm, I might just put this down here, move that over. Or maybe I'll do, like, a whole row of this and then do the Japanese, I don't know, whatever. I'll think about it later, but yeah. I got that finally. I ended up just buying that and selling Taeyeon to my friend Jane. Um, and then we have that. And then the last card I have to put away in this binder is... Weekly just announced their comeback, which was hilarious. I literally finished and then like a week later, they were like, bitch, you thought. Um, okay, so I have a few cards to put away for Idol. I don't really know if I'm going to end up collecting for Idol, but I guess we'll see. Um, I do also have Stacy, So I have Suman and Jay for Stacy. Um, I don't know which member I'm going to end up collecting. They only have two songs out right now, so like it's hard to judge. So I just ended up going with two members for now. I'm probably going to drop one once I figure out my bias like more clearly. Um, but typically what I do with Rookie and like newer groups is I will start off with two members or so and then I will like one member will start speaking to me more than the other so <laughs> then I will drop the second member so um that's where we're at with that but yeah I think that's everything in here next up we have twice which is going to be like so many <laughs> cards to put away um but it'll be easy for me because I can just sit and put them away um, but like I'm saying, I think a lot of my groups are going to have comebacks here soon, which, yay. Okay. So here we go with twice, where I have like five million cards. Um, okay, and then I'll enter, but I'm going to do it like this and have this one on top. Um, set you currently don't want to collect, but will probably say fuck it, I'm going to do it anyway. Um, I mean, I feel like that was me with HRH Epilogue, third muster player cards. Wings version 1 and version 2. I feel that was with me with like a lot of the sets. Um, okay. Chaeyoung, I guess this one is this one. Is this the toddler or the baby? Whatever, I'm just gonna put this here and then I'll figure it out later. Um, I feel that has been me recently though, so I don't think I don't have a, have a current set that is like that. Um, since I did kind of like 
do that. This is like not the right size sleeve. Annoying. I'll have to figure out what sleeve I have the other ones in. I can hate these weird ass big cards. I do also have Mina's lenticular, which this is that same size sleeve, so it's not going to fit. So, making progress on page two. Um, but I can't think of a good set that I'm currently debating on. Um, hmm, I'm not sure. Um, I have Chaeyoung's Twice Coaster Lane 2 set. So that one and the hollow. Um, have you thought about collecting BTS Polaroids? I mean, of course I've thought about it, but like, I'm not gonna do it. They get, they're so fucking expensive and like, I don't know, I think part of the charm of a Polaroid is like winning one, um, so I don't necessarily envision myself like buying them. I am also going to make a change here. Instead of doing Twice Coaster Lane 1 Christmas, I think I'm just going to get um, OT9 of the, sig the Signal card and then uh, this Twice Coaster card. So it'll end up like moving, I'll have to move all these around, um, but I really, I don't really enjoy the Twice Coaster Lane 1 Christmas cards, and then they're also expensive as shit, so I'm just kind of like, whatever. I'm just going to get some sets that I actually like, but just as an FYI. But, yeah, for the BTS Polaroids, um, twi that's twice Instagram. um, there's nothing that I, or there's not anything that I really, like, not, that sentence didn't make sense. I'm not super interested. <laughs> Ooh, was this my first complete page? Ooh, ooh, merry and happy, done. That's my first complete page and my first complete album, I think. Woohoo. Um, well, we still have a lot of cards to put away, so <laughs> let's keep going. So I have Sana's scratch card, Diane's scratch card, Chewie's scratch card. I can get progress on this page for what is love. Um, what is something you're looking forward to this year? It doesn't have to be K-pop. Um, COVID vaccine. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, looking forward to being able to leave my house at some point this year. <laughs> um, I'm going to see my parents for the first time in a really long time in March. So I'm looking forward to that. In terms of K-pop, I don't know, comebacks and such. Nothing too special. I have a lot of Mina's What is Love cards, so let me go ahead and get all those out because I don't actually remember the order that I was doing anything in. Okay, so this set and then the signature set. Uh, this one? Or is it that pajamas set? I think it's that one. Whatever. We'll figure it out. And then this one. And then songs you've had on repeat lately. Um, Chunga's new album. Um, Chloe and Hallie. The Chrome edition of Ungodly Hour just came out, so I've been listening to that a lot. Um, what do we have? We have Twice. Mina, and then this Mina. Um, can't think of too much else. I've listened to a lot of Dreamcatcher um, since I just got into them. Um, nothing too exciting though. Yes, that one, this one. God, the hardest part is making sure you have all the sets lined up. Um, This one, I think I have all three of these. Okay, we have this weird what is love one. Yeah, so I have Mina's full set, and we have that one. This is actually one of my favorite Mina cards. And then that one. Cute. So I'm done with Che and Mina for what is love. Just need to finish out Sana. Cool. Um when are you going to learn how to read? McKinley, one of my friends, asked me this. Um, never. Because I told her I like don't ever read books. <laughs> um, 
So I make fun of her and Jane for that. Um, or they make fun of me for that, whichever way it goes. I don't think I have any for the my OT9 sets, so we will... Okay, this is a dupe. Cute. That's a dupe. Um, oh wait, I have saunas for this. This is a dupe. Wait, what the fuck? No, it's not a dupe. <laughs> Jesus. I hate when the cards are so fucking similar. Um, the signature one. Which one do I have, Amina? I have this one. Okay. Sorry, this one I like did not organize before I put it in. I put it away. So I'm never gonna learn how to read. Um, sorry to say. That's a dupe. Oop, so that goes here. I am literally like Jungkook where I start reading and then I get tired. I'm trying to listen to more audiobooks though because I find those a lot easier um, to keep up with. Oh, I have Sana's signature. I think I already have that one though. Yeah, so that's a dupe. Okay, and then we have, what the hell is going on here? What the fuck? Okay, what the fuck? Okay, these ones I definitely don't have. I must have my, um... I literally don't remember which one I said I was going to do for my OT9 set, <laughs> but I've ended up, I kind of want to do this one with the bluish ocean border. I actually really don't like Summer Nights that much as a set. Uh, I might do this blue ocean border. I, I know I have number 10 written down, but I actually think I don't really like number 10 when I was looking at it again. So we might do this one. And then I'll put this one right here. I'm probably gonna have to rearrange. Why does this not want to stick in the cart? On the sleeve, right? I'll probably have to rearrange the way I have these organized to make sense. And then I might do, yeah, I might do these. So this is not gonna be number 10. This is gonna be whatever the hell set this is. But I kind of like this set, I think, a little bit more than the one that I had originally picked out. So, yeah, because these cards are all different, right? Yeah, okay, so I'm done with Che for Summer Nights. I'm missing two cards for Sana. Okay, okay. But yeah, like I was saying, I think I'm going to try and listen to more audiobooks so that way I can get some education. And then I have full set of Mina for Yes or Yes. So first up we have the OT9 set, the one card that I was stupid and traded away. But it's chill. Okay. Let me get these ordered in the right direction. Do you own any BTS signed albums or signed Polaroids? I don't own um, any... Okay, Sana's a dupe. I don't own any um, Polaroids like I was talking about earlier. I own a few signed albums, um, but no Polaroids. I don't know. Polaroids are just like way too expensive. They're like, they're like insane, honestly. And like, I know like part of the appeal, oh, I finished this page, is they're like one of a kind, all that crap, but like, I don't really care. Like, I'd rather just spend my money on something that's cheaper. <laughs> Like, it's just so expensive. Um, okay, so on this set page, we have these. We have 
the hand cards. Oh fuck, I don't remember which one was which. Fuck. And then the white border. Shit, I'm gonna have to look up these hand cards because I don't remember which one was which. Um, okay, let me get out my template. Hold, please. Cool, so that's Sana. That's Mina. Ooh, this is gonna be another page that I complete. Yes or yes, making fucking moves. I'm gonna actually finish all these, I think. So for this, we have Mina. Another card that I had and traded away. But it's chill. I think I have... Yes, I do have both. Here. What's one thing besides overpriced series you'd like to see change in the community? Um, I wish everyone would like chill the fuck out. Where the fuck do these cards go? Oh, I already have these. Christ! Okay. Um, cool. Look at all my duplicates I have so far. Awesome. Cool, so Yes Rest is done. It's my first done era for um, Bias Line. And then I just need to finish out my OG9 page. But I'm making really good progress on that. Year of Yes, I have quite a few cards. I don't really know what I'm going to do with these. Ugh. Okay, so I have... That's a duplicate. That's a duplicate. Ugh. I need another nine pocket page, I think. I don't really know how I'm going to lay these out. I'm thinking that kind of goes there. No, all of these cards are like, there's not real sets I feel like here. And then I have an extra Sana and an extra Che. I need to figure out how I'm going to lay these out. So I'm actually going to not put these two cards away, I'm going to come back to them. Um, but I do have quite a few duplicates, which is always fun. Um, and then we come to Fancy, where I think I just have one card. Um, okay, so one thing I'd like to change, that's also a duplicate, cool. Um, yeah, like, I kind of want everyone to chill out. I feel like right now everyone's, like, mad <laughs> about something. Um, so everyone kind of needs to just take a breath and realize we're fighting people over literal pieces of paper. Um, okay, so we have Diane and Sana. Um, but yeah, other than that, I can't really think of too many things. I think the community in general is pretty fine. Like, um, I never have any issues um, or anything. I don't know, you just need to kind of like make friends. I think this card goes here. Just make friends and like only interact with your friends and it's fine <laughs> like literally like that sounds kind of stupid I feel like but like that's literally how I feel a lot of the times like just get a big group of friends and then like you can um like trade and sell and buy like within your friend group and that way you're not like having to deal with a bunch of scammers and things like that I don't want it to sound like clicky but um because that's not really the vibe either but um, making sure you have like good trading partners and things like that is important I find to make the community like feel good because when you're getting scammed and all that kind of stuff the community feels like shit so another completed page for feel special exciting and then I think I got my last chance card that I needed for more and more cool um next question if you would drop a group who would it be I'm not really sure I mean, I've like thought about dropping weekly just because I got so annoyed about the fucking, um, those like pre-order cards and all of that. I'm pretty sure I said I was going to put the table set here in the middle. Um, but I'm not 100% sure. I can't remember. Which, okay, here, this is Mina's card. 
for this. I think this is this card. I'll have to look it up in a template. Um, where is that OT9 template I had for Eyes Wide Open? There it is. Okay, so this card. Yes, it's this one. Because it's the one where she's doing the thumbs up. Cute. Okay, and then we have... Did I fuck this up? Yes, I did. Oh, so this is the yellow set. And then this is purple. Okay. Chance almost done. Four eyes wide open. Cool, cool, cool. And then we have another one of these. Um, in terms of dropping a group, um, I mean it'd probably be weekly or maybe Everglow would be first on my list. Maybe in hypen if their cards continue being ridiculously priced. Um, those are the ones I can think of. Um, but no, no one's really like on the block right now. Because they, I, haven't, I haven't really had any comebacks to deal with. Once, when I have comebacks, that's when you start seeing me being like, oh my god, I'm gonna drop this group, that group, whatever. So I got Chaeyoung's um, knock knock standy thingy. It came like bent in the from the cellar, which was annoying as fuck, but whatever. It's fine. Um, so now I just need to get Mina. And then I finally got Sana's uh, fancy lenticular. Which is fun. Um, next question is what's your favorite album solo song from each BTS member? Um, Namjoon is probably Persona, Jin, Epiphany, Yoongi, I don't know, Shadow and Seesaw are pretty even for me. I might like Shadow a little bit more. It kind of depends on my mood, honestly, for Yoongi's. Um, Hobie, I actually really like Just Dance, but then Ego is really good as well. Um, okay, so I have finally completed <laughs> this fucking, these pre-order cards for Luna. So here is Cherry. And then I'm also going to finish out Olivia. Oh my god, these cards are like a nightmare <laughs> to finish, but I'm not done. For the, them, I'm only missing now the postcards back here. The, um, each other's like opposite, corresponding, whatever, uh, cards for Music Korea. Last things I have to put away for Luna are some clown cards that I bought. <laughs> so you guys might remember when... I was clipped in OT12. I obviously had the full set of the light stick cards. I ended up selling them, like all of them. Um, but then I went back and I bought Cherry, Odd Eye Circle, and Olivia's. I ended up spending like, these were like $12 each, which is like insane. I sold mine for $5 each, so I bought them back for two and a half times more than I sold mine for, which made me feel like a moron, but like whatever. I can't believe people are selling these for so much now, like, whatever. It's annoying, but what can you expect from Orbits? Um, where did I stop? I stopped at Hobie. Jimin, favorite solo song, Serendipity, Tay, Singularity, and then Jungkook. Either My Time or Begin, both of those are really, I really like a lot. For line or not line, but for um, vocal line, I tend to like their Love Yourself solos the best. For rap line, I tend to like their um, Map of the Soul solos the best. So that's kind of how I feel about that. I also, I don't think I did this on camera, but I did put away Luna's Seasons Greetings card, so we'll do a quick flip through that and I'll answer a few more questions. If your house was on fire and you could only save three photo cards, what would they be? The Japanese hollow cards. <laughs> um, I would save Jim and Star, Jungkook's hearts, and Namjoon's hearts as well. So those are my favorite. Plus, they're such an they're so annoying to collect. So 
those three. Someone asked, do you uh, plan to pick up more Luna collections? Um, I don't know. I've thought about um, actually going back and rebuying some of the Olivia things that I sold and maybe um, getting cherry for them as well because once I finish flipping through these um, I'll show you guys what, I talk, what I'm talking about. So um, I still have a few of the Olivia things that I never sold um, just because they were larger. So I still have these. I still have this. I still have this this poster, this scratch poster, and then the um, Polaroids from the Concept Zone. So I've thought about going back um, and like collecting some more of this stuff again. So like the Polaroids from, um, what was that from? Lining Up or whatever. Um, as well as a few other things. I'm definitely not going to collect the fucking ID things again. Those were so annoying. Um, but I've thought about that, so I'm not sure. It's just something I've kind of been toying with. Um, someone asked, did you get disappointed that we didn't get a new music video for a B-side on the re-release of B? Yes, I was so, I'm still annoyed, like if I talk about it too much I'll get too frustrated, but I was so frustrated with Big Hit about that. I cannot believe they basically just sold us the same fucking album with different photo cards and like that was it. <laughs> like, we didn't get a music video for a B-side, we didn't get anything we didn't get a new song like we got basically the same fucking album just with random photo cards this time so yeah i was like really frustrated about that and i still am to be honest like, it it just it feels like they're taking advantage of the fan base when they do stuff like that which doesn't feel good um so yes yeah, so i have two more questions so i'll just go ahead and answer them like before i put my binder away um weirdest thing you bought just for the photo cards I mean, the stupidest thing I bought was that fucking um, acrylic frame. That thing was so annoying. I ended up being able to actually sell that, though, without the photo cards, which I was, like, shook as fuck about. But I sold it on Mercari. Um, so I was able to get some money back, which was awesome. That was the stupidest thing I've ever bought, though. I mean, also the pop-up store. I bought some socks just to get the little, like, random postcard they're doing. Um... For TXT, I bought that dumbass. I bought the the bandana that they're selling for their next fan live, which felt stupid, but whatever. I mean, Big Hit bundles a lot of their like stupid shit with PCs at this point because they know they have our numbers. So um, yeah, it's stupid, but whatever. Um, and the last thing is, can you talk a little bit about your tattoos? I think they're really cool. Um, thank you. I don't really know what to say. Um. I started getting tattooed when I was 18. I'm 25 now, so been eight or seven years. I don't know how to do math. In addition to not being able to read, I can't do math. Um, I, that's been seven years, so it's been fun. I haven't gotten one in a while, obviously, because of the pandemic. So I'm kind of waiting for that to chill out before I go and get any more. Um, yeah, I got. I don't think I've gotten any in the state that I live in now. Actually, I think. I got them in like California, Chicago, no wait, California, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, I'm trying to think where else I've been to get tattooed. Those are kind of the main places, but yeah, um, just don't really have too much to say. None of them really have any meanings either. I'm kind of just chill and I get whatever I kind of like the look of. So that's it. Those are all the questions. So thank you guys so much for watching my video, watching me put away 5 million twice cards like always. Hopefully I'll be finishing this out soon. I think Sana, I still have a few cards left to get, and Mina, I still have a few cards left to get, and Chaeyoung, I think I need one more year of Yes card. Um, but yeah, it's been fun collecting them so far, and then I will be back also obviously with my B gigantic 120 something, 130 something album unboxing, which will be a nightmare. I don't really, I think I'm gonna have to film it on the floor, so I'm sorry about that, but <laughs> there's no way it's gonna fit on this desk. This desk is not very big, um, and I think it'll just be easier for me to film it on the floor, so I'll have that soon as well. Um, but yes, I will see you guys soon. Bye.